Hello there guys, I've uh, recently been having problems with one of my uh, Quang Sheng radios and I uh, thought I'd make a simple video showing how these are taken apart and how they're put back together again. Um, I've taken some photos of the device as I took it apart and before and I'll just play us through these sequence at the moment. So as you've probably already seen, uh, you, the radio is there, you've got the keypad at the bottom. You can see where the buttons are, the function button, the exit and the uh, monitor button. You've got the volume control on the top, uh, the antenna on the top, a uh, battery on the back with the battery clip. Looking around the other side you've got the DC in, the mic and the speaker and obviously the battery releases as well. Um, round on the uh, other side of the machine you've got the PTT button. So taking off the battery you can see on the bottom there's two screws down at the bottom. To take this device apart you need to um, remove these two screws. Um, when you remove these two screws you then should secondly pull off the knob on the top, unscrew the aerial and you'll see these, uh, these rings that are uh, on the actual knob and on the antenna. Uh, you'll need to get a circlet pliers or just a normal pair of pliers or just be careful taking them off using a screwdriver just nudging it around. That's what I did anyway. Uh, you can also see on the top you've got the um, screw, the LED for the transmit and receive. So moving on again. That's the back starting to be released off the machine. You'll see it's uh, uh, sliding out and pulling downwards. Now, when you do get it released, you'll see that um, there's two sets of pins that you need to uh, pull apart to try to get this disassembled. So when you actually do get it released, you'll pull it apart and you'll see the two separate boards that uh, comprise of the radio. I'm showing you these boards a little bit more accurately, a bit closer. You can see the strips of pins and sockets, and you can see the processors and, uh, well, whatever else is going on inside this radio. Moving on to the issue I had, as I was trying to see if there was a problem with the antenna sockets, uh, this radio in particular has problems with receiving signals. Very, very poor performance um, as a radio. Um, it won't even hear uh, without uh, muting the squelch in the same room. Um, it's ridiculous, but there's no antenna breakages, there's no problems on the antenna socket itself, nothing that could be seen. So ultimately I just put this radio back together again and I just threw it back on the shelf as a um, abandoned spares, I suppose. Um, tried swapping over antennas to the other units, no problem, no fix either, so something's definitely not right here. Um, pretty easy to take apart, pretty easy to put back together again, not really a problem. So I'll carry on and finish off with about a five minute video of me reassembling this radio. Thanks for your time, hopefully something in this video will help you uh, disassemble and reassemble and maybe even fault find your radio. All the best, bye bye.